Alrighty. Greetings, YouTube. We are here at the sports complex in Philadelphia where the Eagles play. Uh, what is this? I think the basketball stadium is in this area also. We got small sales all over the place and fine dining establishments. And this is where a lot of the business is done. So, let's see what the networks have to offer. Today, we have up to bat. We got T-Mobile on the right and AT&T is on the left. So, as you can see, where I'm at, Citizens Park Bank, uh, Citizens Bank Park, um, Lincoln Financial Field. I, I, I peeped and peep it when I came in. But all, basically, all the sports teams are right here in one spot. So let's see what the deployment looked like for AT&T. So band two, uh, 20 megahertz. So I'm gonna presume that there's probably small cells all over through here. There's not many big tall buildings that are close by and we're near the airport also. So this this might be a tricky area for the for the carriers to get things done. So let's turn this let's turn this down. A little cold outside. So let's see what we got. Hmm. T-Mobile might not be like in DC, but they still show signs of it. So right now, AT&T, 245.6 down by 71. Not bad. A little bit more capacity would be needed here. I mean, what happens on game day, I, you know, you, you need a lot more capacity, especially when you got a lot of people in a small area. Um, T-Mobile's at 488 down by 97 up. So they're both doing pretty good. So let's check and see what we get on our speed test. This is Eagles country. My wife um, is a Dallas fan, so she didn't want to come this way. So we're getting plenty of capacity on T-Mobile. We're over 600. AT&T, I expect more. So T-Mobile's at 671 down and 99 up. Uh, AT&T's at 375 down and 67 up. So very good showing. Let's see how much of that is going to be usable later on. Right now, we got fast going. Got 600 megabits per second for fast. And for AT&T, is 180 megabits per second. So, not bad, not bad. Still way more than what uh, Verizon offers on LTE, because they, they cap you at four four megs per second so imperv well 
Oh, they're gonna pack capacity for T-Mobile. I think it spiked above 700. AT&T is not a slouch. AT&T spiked over 400. Alrighty, so moving on to the um, browsing test. Now moving to the streaming. T-Mobile's already at doing the 360, 360p streaming now. AT&T is getting started. And moving on to the 720. Alrighty, so T-Mobile is giving us 716 down and 106 up with a latency of 36 milliseconds. Uh, browsing and streaming is above average. So we're looking at 90 for browsing and 95 for streaming. AT&T, 477 down and 82 up. Browsing at 85 and streaming at 94. AT&T needs a little more juice here. Uh, there's not many. There's nobody here. I mean, there's a restaurant behind me that has people in it, but I don't think that that's what's pulling. So let's see what happens when we pull data. So PUBG over the network. Three, two one go all right so four to four seven to seventeen twenty seven to ten man I gotta make sure I bite my tongue when I talked about AT&T 65 to 30 72 to 35 86 to 50 91 to 56 and AT&T is done note to self don't talk about AT&T until it's all the way done so as you can see AT&T does very well here at the, I call it the trifecta. I think the basketball stadium is in this area. The football field and the baseball field for all three are roughly in the same spot. So it's good to see that uh, networking prowess by AT&T is still superb. T-Mobile's got a lot of work to do. Um, thank y'all for watching. Like, share, and subscribe this video to you know let other people know where what's going on. If you live in Philly. Tell me if I'm doing it right. Tell me if, I, if you're getting what I'm getting. I'd like to hear from you. Uh, Y'all have a good one.